Hello, I'm back. And look, I've been transported to a new world. Oh well, let us move on and return to the world of logarithms for better or worse. That means I have to share my screen and the desktop, and here we are. Okay. Now, I'm going to trade my tablet for my keyboard. We're not using the calculator here. Instead, what we're doing is we're converting. We're converting between exponential and logarithmic functions. For instance, this is an exponential function. We're going to turn it into a logarithmic function. So let's write how this happens. Hello. There. Okay. Exponential functions. I'll leave it there, takes this form, 10 to the fifth power equals 100,000. In other words, we have the base, raised to the exponent power, equals what we know is going to become the argument. Arg. Without the H. Okay, now a logarithmic function logarithm. Let's, let's leave it at that. That's going to take the form of log base argument equals exponent. And we're going to go back and forth between them because after all, we're just dealing with three numbers sometimes variables. We have a base, we have an exponent, we have an argument. How hard could that be? So here we have the base, here we have the exponent, here we have the argument, and so I'm going to write this sign which means they're the same thing. Logarithm to the base of the argument equals the exponent. And indeed, that's exactly what the answer is. I left the answers in again so you could see what the answers are. All right, here we have it again. Here's the base. Here's the exponent. Here's the argument. We're going to change this to logarithmic form. Log, I like to write it out, 32. That's the base. The argument is two equals one fifth. Now up here, you know that log base 10 is just log. So another way to write this would be LOG 100,000. You don't want to use commas. 
uh, unless you're specifically asked to <clears throat> in your calculator, equals five. Although here it's just five. Most of the time we don't use them in my math lab though. Okay, but we just leave them out. All right, here we go. Let me pull this up. Here's the base. Here's the exponent. Here's the argument. So we'll write this as log base argument equals exponent. Well, wait a minute. We don't often see log e here. No, log base e is ln. So what this really is, is the ln of m equals negative four. And indeed, that's what they put over here. Okay, let's keep on. This is fun. We're translating. This is going to be very, very necessary when you start solving exponential functions and solving logarithmic functions, as you'll see. So you want to develop an ability now. Here's the base. Here's the exponent. Here's the argument, ARG. It would be better to put ARG. Okay, so this is going to be the same thing as log base E of 54.5982 equals 4. But my math lab would count that wrong, even though it's not technically wrong. Because log base E is LN. That's just the way it's written nowadays. Back in the Middle Ages, you well, the late Middle Ages, you might have gotten away with it. We're going to take the LN of 54.5982 equals 4. And that's what they've written over here. OK, and again, here we have the base. Here we have the exponent. Here we have the argument. So that. We have log. Base H of three equals W. And indeed, that's what I see. Now that we've got this all mastered, look at this, they're changing the tables on us. Isn't that the way math is? Okay, well, let's dissect this. This is the base. This is the exponent. And this is the argument. OK, well, I wrote that up here. Here we go. Exponentials, exponential equations are written as base raised to an exponent equals an argument. So base. raised to an exponent equals the argument. And I will put my equivalency symbol right there. What that says really is this equals this and this equals this. Therefore, they're the same thing. OK, now. This is log base what? 10. That's the base. Ugly B. 
This is the argument. This is the exponent, right? So, we're going to have the base raised to the exponent equals the argument. And there we have it. One more, one more and then we're done. Then we go on to another one. But it's good to analyze them. This is the base. This is the argument. This is the exponent. So the base in raised to the exponent, negative y, equals t, the argument. Practice this. You are going to need it, I promise. Bye for now. I'm back in Playland. <laughs>